Dreamers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Royce. I'm a painter, sculptor, and a collector. Today's episode is gonna focus all on my Haunted Mansion collection. Let's get started. All right, let's start over here with Madame Leota. She is definitely one of the most technically difficult props I have ever personally created. Of course, the head and the ball was a uh, fleet all in itself. I actually have a video, I'll link it below, of the entire creation process for this prop. I ended up going not with the beautiful holder that's in the mansion today, but I used the ball holder that was from the 2003 film with Eddie Murphy. I think that it is just a perfect addition to this already iconic prop, and I chose to go with Madame Leota's face, Leota Tombs from the attraction instead of the actress that they used in the film. Before I forget, I also wanted to show you this really cool picture frame. This is a ornate gold picture frame that was released for the Haunted Mansion's 50th anniversary. This was released, I believe in 2018, 2019, and there was quite a few of these released and they all had different pictures in them. This one actually has an illustration right now of Leota that I drew, but behind it, it actually has another illustration of Leota. And these are actually just picture frames, so you can put pictures of yourself, but I thought it was so cool, so I had to find the one with Leota and then illustrate her inside. And these retailed for $22.99. Up next, we're gonna look at this little guy. This is a skull. Now this is used in the Pepper's Ghost effect in the ballroom coming out of the organ. There are quite a bit of these, and these are painted all in black light, and they pop out of the organ as the organ player is playing the iconic Haunted Mansion soundtrack and you see it probably from this angle I would say and it's always going up and at an angle so it's pretty fun to see them up close so much detail of course sculpted by Blaine Gibson my next piece we're actually going to stay in the ballroom this is Pickwick and this is a very rare and very fun figure not a lot of people can say they've seen this face up close this is the guy on the chandelier that is swinging with a drink in his hand. His top hat in the attraction is of course a lot larger than this one, but this is his face. He has such a mischievous grin and I have always for some reason loved this particular figure and I had to have Pickwick in my collection. And this is a really fun fact. His face is the only place that you can see this particular sculpt by Blaine Gibson. Many times you will see multiples of the faces used in various attractions. For instance, in Pirates of the Caribbean, you will see plenty of heads that are in this attraction and vice versa. So for him just to be used this once and for all the work and time to go into this figure, it is truly special. Up next, we have a completely horrific and scary, creepy head. This is a pop-up ghost that is used in the graveyard scene in the Haunted Mansion. He pops up around two or three times depending on the time of year because these heads are switched out for repaint and he is pretty scary looking. I will definitely say it almost reminds me of the hag from Snow White. The hair is just frizzed out and this is an actual prop from the attraction painted in this iconic green ghost color and he's just scary. I definitely keep him in the bottom shelves of my collection room. But we're not done yet, dreamers. Come with me. I have three more figures to show you. Haunted Mansion fans, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. Now these three behind me are not full-bodied figures. They are in the last scene in the attraction when you are in your Doom Buggy and you see either Phineas, Ezra, or Gus in your Doom Buggy as a ghost. These are an extremely practical effect that is centuries old but works so well even in today's technology and they are just some of the most fun pieces I own in my collection. The only things that I did to them after acquiring them was recostume them and then of course give them a repaint. They are such fun iconic pieces to Disney fans and memorabilia out there. Gus is by far probably probably my favorite out of the three 
And then probably Phineas is my second. He's just so fun. He has the most mischievous grin. Every time I go through the Haunted Mansion, they are my favorite figures to see. They are probably, along with Madame Leota, the most iconic parts of the mansion. They're instantly recognizable. Everyone knows them, everyone loves them. Of course, these three are also sculpted by my favorite Imagineer, Blaine Gibson, and hand-painted in this beautiful black light. They are just such fun pieces in my collection. All right, dreamers, that's all the time we have for today's episode. If you liked this spooky content, please give it a thumbs up, and also please consider hitting that subscribe button that way you are notified whenever I upload a new video. I wish you all a wonderful day and always remember dreamers, not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them. Later dreamers.